The first official photo featuring the highly anticipated all-female cast of Ocean's 8 has just been released, so quick forewarning for you all, major badassery is about to go down. This episode of Newsfeed is brought to you by Intuit TurboTax. Relax, there's TurboTax. The political world isn't the only place that gender bending is on fire, because this movie might just shut down the movie theaters. Never in a million years would anyone who is anyone ever think that riding a New York subway would be a dream come true until now. And just when you thought today would be another ordinary drag of a Monday, Warner Brothers just proved you completely wrong by releasing the first ever photo for the upcoming Ocean's Eleven series spin-off film, Ocean's Eight. The photo features all eight leading ladies, including Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, Sarah Paulson, Rihanna, Anne Hathaway, Helena Bonham Carter, Mindy Kaling, and Aquafina sitting straight-faced and looking like they mean a business on a New York City subway. The premise of the film, directed by Gary Ross, hasn't yet been revealed. However, the first logline did drop the group's character names and event settings, saying, quote, The tide will turn as Debbie Ocean, played by Sandra Bullock, attempts to pull off the heist of the century at New York City's star-studded annual Met Gala. Her first stop is to assemble the perfect crew, Lou, played by Kate Blanchett, Nineball, a.k.a. Rihanna, Mindy Kaling as Amita, Constance, played by Aquafina, Rose, starling Helena Bonham Carter, Anne Hathaway as Daphne Kluger, and Tammy, played by Sarah Paulson. But as if this power group of leading ladies doesn't already leave you speechless, many more celebs are expected to make appearances as it's been confirmed that they've already filmed scenes at the Met Gala, including Hailey Baldwin, Derek Blasberg, Katie Holmes, Kendall Jenner, and Kim Kardashian, Zayn Malik, Olivia Munn, Alexander Wang, and Anna Wintour, among many. Matt Damon will also be reprising his role from the original Ocean series, also joining newcomers Damian Lewis and James Corden. Minnie Kaling joked about her experience while filming Ocean's 8 as never feeling so unfamous in her life, saying, quote, like, I thought I was pretty cool. People think I'm Sandra Bullock's assistant and they're like, get out of the way, we need to bring Sandra her matcha tea. I'm like, I'm in a scene with her, I'm not her assistant. Then I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll give her her matcha tea. Might as well. Sarah Paulson revealed to E! News last night during the SAG Awards that she's having an extraordinary time on set, also admitting that we shouldn't be allowed to have so much fun and be paid for it. By the sound of that, Ocean's 8 is quickly working its way up to my must-see list, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Unfortunately, we'll just have to wait another year and a half for the film to be released, but the countdown to June 8, 2018 has officially commenced. In the meantime, I want to hear all your thoughts on the film's first official photo, so get to talking right down here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching Clever News, I'm your host Paulina Sariga, and I'll see you next time. But before you go, click to the left to check out the SAG Awards Best Dressed on Dirty Laundry, and click to the right to see the many SAG Award faces of Winona Ryder. This episode was brought to you by Intuit TurboTax with live on-demand help when you need it. Relax, there's TurboTax.